Right back at you, collectors. I'm back with another review. Yes, 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 y'all. I'm back again about the Rock the Party, y'all. Here I go with more 3 a stuff, y'all. So let me begin with this another Venture Cartel figure, Shadow 2. Yes, this is the another version of the Little Shadow from the 3A Adventure Cartel. My first Little Shadow figure. So I'm kind of happy and I'm loving it. I am definitely loving this figure, guys. Um, do I have complaints? Always. I don't care what type of 1-6 figure I have. It's always probably going to be something that I'm complaining about. But I'll get into that a little later. But before I get started, let me say thank you. I want to thank you guys out there for leaving comments and, you know, checking out the videos and stuff like that. Stop motion contest is still on. Still on. The time is ticking. Get them stop motion videos in, guys. Wrapping it up. No later than May 15th. So send them in. Send me a video response and responding to the contest. Alrighty, more details will be coming soon. With that being said, with that being said, I meant to say, I'm sorry. Let's get into this figure. Love the picture of Little Shadow. Cool design by Ashley Wood and them at 3A. But yes, this is a basic figure. As you see on the box at the bottom, it says Adventure Cartel, Shadow 2. On the side, same thing as on the front of the box. Basic box as usual, same as the last figure I reviewed, the Jungle Vet. Shadow 2, Adventure Cartel. On the back of the box, you see some of the, the other figures that you can buy and collect these three figures are so awesome to collect though guys it's like you know like Lay's chips you can't just get one you gotta get more than one and that's one thing I like about 3A they just have that unique look in their own but uh yeah so she's coming next right here so stay tuned for a review on her definitely getting uh this guy the red hooded zombie and Tommy is coming this is a uh, Pember I think I'm sorry I don't want to screw the name up but uh yeah so cool design of the characters I mean really also sell these figures because this is all you've seen and it was like okay gotta get them <laughs> you didn't see actually the prototype figures or nothing all you seen was these figures I mean these design pictures of the figures and you know you just have faith in 3A that they'll make some awesome figures and you signed on so by doing that you know you re uh, pre-ordered these bad boys and uh, which I did and now these two are sold out these two female figures of the collection you can get lucky and get them on eBay, but you got to pay, pay almost, you know, double in price. So that's the sucky part. And I guess they do retail figures every now and then. The last figures that was retail, I think, was the, the Brambles, the Heavy Brambles. They had a bunch of different colorways going with them. But, uh, yeah. All right, let's get into the figure. Enough being said. And here is Shadow. Look at little Shadow. She's amazing. You can see she's looking up. Don't ask me what she's looking up at. I just like the way that looks, the way that neck extends, and the you know just the looking up of the figure. It looks pretty awesome. So I just said, you know what? Maybe I like she's looking for something. I guess. She's, uh, you know, it's the Venture Cartel crew. So she's on her adventure and trying to find whatever it is that it is. <laughs> Maybe she's looking for her boyfriend, Tommy. Where the hell is Tommy at now? Tommy, are you up there? No, that's corny. I'm sorry, guys. 
But uh, yeah, here's our accessories at the bottom. Basic, real basic. Uh, she comes with like a travel type bag. One bomb skull. And uh, a fist. And that's all you get. So you pretty much get what you pay for. I'll show you the details of the bag as it is stuffed with uh, the foam that they're doing now at 3A. Weathered as usual. As you can see. Alrighty. And then here's the one fist. Alright, complaint time. I like the fact that they added one fist and I think they did that before with the other little shadow. But um, I would like to see some hands from 3A. You know, some nice dion. Di I can't even get the word out. Dynamic type hand poses sculpts. I would really love to see that because um, again, when you're taking pictures, you know, you want to pull as much detail as possible out of your poses, and when you have different hand expressions. It really brings the posing out of the figure, you know. So, you know, with that being said, that's my really only complaint with this figure is I wish they had more hands instead of just this one. You know, maybe like three more sets. That would be awesome. So I don't know what it is with the crew over at 3A. Why they won't add a nice amount of hands. I guess they figure this is all you need, but not a collector like me. I need a little bit of more. Now, if I got to pay a little extra because of hands, I don't have a problem with that. Like I said, these figures aren't that expensive. They're at a price uh, that's pretty cool, which this figure retailed at 90 bucks. So, 90 bucks is awesome for what you get. But if I can pay 100 because I want a couple extra sets of hands, I would love to do that. So, hopefully they're in the works of changing up a bit and... You know, giving us what we need, us collectors. Alrighty, so on with the figure. As you can see, she has these chuck type pumps. I have these pumps done before uh, in one of my TQ, T, yeah, the TQs, Tomorrow Queens. She actually has these red pumps. So I like these pumps a lot for this figure. It fits the vibe, jeans. The ruggedness. They're weathered, as you can see. She's a dirty girl. And as you can see, this figure is also standing pretty well. Not like the jungler that that kept falling. You know, I'm spinning this stand around and showing you different views of her. So she stands well with these pumps on. Weathered paint all along the jeans, which is a super tight punk rock punker type fit of jeans. I love the way the, the jeans fit on this figure too. Awesome. Super tight. And they actually have a little bit of painting going on. So you be ready to get a little paint on your hands with these 3A figures, guys. She sports the skirt. Little mini skirt with jeans. Kind of like a grunge type look going on. And then she comes with the two relaxed hands that the figure is already attached to. And then the sweatsuit type jacket, which is weather, as you can see. Paint all along the back. She just looks so grimy and dirty. You dirty girl. <laughs> Draw strings to pull the hood. Actual working zipper. She sports a t-shirt. See if I can show you guys. As you can see inside there with the logo. And these figures do have some big boobs. Not to be a freaky dude, but uh, as you can see, you can see nipples and all that type stuff in there. So that's one thing that 3A do right is some big boobies. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this has been another review, guys, of the Shadow 2 figure. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me not speed up my review and talk about the head scope. 
jumping ahead of myself. Sorry, guys. But uh, yeah, this is a second version head scope of the Shadow figure. So this is the Shadow 2 version head scope. I like this head scope. I don't own the first one, so I can't really tell you which is better. But I'm hearing uh, collectors are saying that they like the Shadow Shadow 1 vet better than this version. But uh, I like this head scope. Very nice design. Put your head down for you guys so you can see. She has this funny looking type of little look on her face. A little smirk as you can see. Which is painted. Weathering all on the face area. Then she has like a green type lip gloss. I don't think the camera's going to pick it up too well though. Teardrop tattoo design on the eye. Gives her her character. <laughs> and cool hair scope. Like the hair scope design, as you can see. You can have her with the hood on if you want. Or take it off. Whatever you decide, how you want to pose this figure. Articulation is pretty cool. You can get some amazing arm articulation out of her. As you can see. I'm sure it's like 30, 32 points of articulation on this figure. Just, I would be careful with the ankle joints. I did break a previous figure by the ankles. With the ankle joints, because they're so fragile. But besides that, uh, awesome, awesome figure. Definitely recommend if you can get your hands on it. Uh, you know, you may pay a little more than retail for this figure, but that's just because you missed out on pre-ordering. But besides that, still snatch her up because she is definitely well, well to have in the collection, guys. You definitely would be happy with Little Shadow. All right, this has been another review. Muggy215. Muggy215. Muggy215 is signing out. Peace.